Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. We are a little chaotic this morning. Erica's getting ready, her mom's here. They're gonna go do a Christmas day, shopping day, and I'm gonna go to work. Katie's making me some coffee. Say hi to the Vlogmas guys. Sweet, thank you. Have fun with Nana, give me a hug. Bye. All right, see you after work. All right, actually before I go, let's see what we got going on over here. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's a little crazy in here right now. We're getting ready to leave. Has he got your toy? Does he have your toy? All right, guys, I think Jason already told you, but we are getting ready to go shopping. My mom is here. Say hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to do our annual shopping trip. I don't know if you guys watched last year's Vlogmas, but we go every year with me, the girls, and my mom. And mostly we go have lunch and just hang out and have fun. Can I drive? No. Why not? Well, Billy, you're a lot taller than mom. Because I think we have to take the highway to get there, and I'm just not mentally prepared to ride with you um, oh, on the point. highway. <laughs> I'm not mentally prepared. Look at how high I have to hold this up so that I can get you in the in the frame. <laughs> okay, are you struggling to? Okay. <laughs> Bandit, come. Here comes Jack. Dad, are you sad? Bandit, are you sad? You're pushing it. Jack like, I'm sad. Can you be sad, Jaxie? He's like, I can attack that dog from the back. <laughs> As though it weren't crazy enough. Although he has stopped climbing the Christmas tree. I will say that. Well, what is it? I don't even know what that Scrum is. Hole. Yeah, I think it's oh. bigger than that. I don't even know if you can't count. Six sports. Is it a Lego thing? Yeah. Oh. The Lego thing is making a lot of Perfect. Uh, it's a little piano. It's really cute. <laughs> Do you want to tell me what happened this morning? Uh, Hold on. Oh, what? Vlog. 11. Uh-huh. Cheater. <laughs> she didn't cheat. Nana told me the wrong vlog number. Yeah, Nana vlog. said, hey, have you watched vlog, I think, 7? Not 10. I said 10. So then we watched 9 to try and find it. Then we watched 11 and uh -huh. we found it. Yeah, you guys are cheaters. You were supposed to find it, it on your own. Counts. <laughs> I, I didn't. I, I just said, have, do you watch mommy's vlogs? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And maybe you should. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, I think the last time you rode in the cart, you were like one. All right, we are headed into the mall. You ready? Yeah. Taki salad. Liv got a burger. What'd you get, Haley? Little fish and chips. Wait, no, mom. 
And I got shrimp scampi. What'd you get, Katie? Corn dogs. Okay, point at one of them. Here's me. Look at me. Okay. You know what I look like. You think 59 right here, or 68 it looks like me more. We're losing steam. We're losing steam. Look at these cookies from Kimmy again. Aren't they cute? Look at this little. My lighting is bad, but. What's this? Oh, aren't L. All right, I think Jason's going to be excited. So we've got his teamy colon. Teamy skinny, and he got the black one. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're gonna try this hair dye bit. Just so you guys know, we are using Light Natural Auburn mm -hmm. Garnier. We'll see. Somebody told us to use a different brand, but we'd already ordered. No, this just one, because so. it was purpley. Like there was no s severe side effect issues or anything. Okay, just, just kind of has a purple tint to it. Yeah, well, that'll match your purple shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing to worry about here. I guess if she wears a hat, right? <laughs> yeah. If you wear a hat, no one will notice the, right? I mean, no, you can hardly tell. All right, time for day 14. It's a little late, so I'm gonna try and come over by this light, hopefully. Ooh. It's very hot pink. It's really pretty. Katie's gonna like this one. And so I'm actually kind of excited about these scissors. I did need another pair and these ones are super pretty. So so this is a really fun surprise to get in today's calendar. I'm really happy about these. And then here is the progress I've made on my cowl. So I'm working on this color here. And we'll see what color Katie would like to add next. But I think I might actually put this back on my chow goose because see how this cord? I've never actually had a high high cord do that. They're usually a little bit softer. This one is really kind of being wonky on me, so I'm not loving it. I think next round I'm going to um, put it back onto my chai, uh, chow goose. And here are my other colors that I have left. Okay, so Katie was trying to use curlers in her hair, and this is what's happening. It used to be a strawberry, but I ripped it in half trying to get her hair out. But I literally still can't get her hair off of this thing, so we might have to cut your hair, Katie. Now, I don't know what today's tea is because it's just random. Let's not. I think this might be possibly peppermint. All right, you guys, we walked outside to check the neighbor's mail for them, and it is snowing. I don't know when that happened. But that makes me want to go cuddle up, get cozy, and work on my cowl. Tonight's tea is sleigh ride. This is what it looks like. See how it tastes. What do I 
got a mini cup. What? What are you talking about? This little dinky cup. What's wrong with it? We got the same cup. I got an E and you got a J. Little J. Little J. Big E. Mm. You gotta put your pinky up. I can't. My cup is too heavy. <laughs> Hmm. What do you this think? This is pretty good. It seems like we already had this. This stuff. one was sleigh ride. I know. I was almost thinking that too. Have we said that, you guys? I don't remember. Sweet, tart, and spicy. I want to say it tastes like lettuce. Oh no. App apple, hibiscus blossoms, pineapple. Again, man. <laughs> oh, and we have cookies. Show your cookie. My friend Kimmy dropped off cookies. Look how cute they are. Aww, super cute. <laughs> Oh no, Mr. Bill. <laughs> okay, questions. All right, this is from Leanne Fisher. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we know that you love to quilt in your in, nah. We know that you love to quilt and knit in your downtime. What does Jason like to do after work to wind down? I don't know. I usually get on my computer and just hang out. I work on like side programs or check my stocks or check my email. I like to take naps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mama Dandelion says, my question is about chores. Do your kids have set chores each week? Do they follow like a list or whatever? Let's see, how young did they start? Um, mine make a mess trying to keep everything tidy. Uh, you know, honestly, I think they started doing chores when they were really little. Like, yeah, as soon as they could walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just tried to give them stuff that was kind of appropriate or I would help them with their chore. Um, and so, gosh, they've been doing chores for, yeah, for years. Why is our red? It's I have lip gloss. So yeah, they've been doing chores for a long time. Um, and yes, they do kind of have assigned chores, but each day I sort of rotate them out. So we do daily things like dishwasher, washer and dryer, um, sweeping the kitchen. Dishes. Dishes, things like that. And so I kind of just rotate them out so everybody did like something each day um, so that not any one person has too many things to do. And then on the weekends we do our main house cleaning. Um, and so... I don't know if set chores is quite how we do it. We used to have a chore schedule, but honestly, it's just easier for me to say, hey, can someone take this trash out? Hey, can, you know, mm -hmm. and so we Don't you have a chore chart? I used to. I do have one on my website you can download, and we used that for a long time, and it was uh, worked really well, especially for little kids, because it kids. has pictures on it. Um, now that they're older, I just kind of tell them what I need them to do each day, and we do pay them an allowance, so uh, yeah, that kind of yep. works itself out. <laughs> okay, so Leanne Fisher had another question. Where did you guys go on your honeymoon? And we went to Cancun, Mexico. It was a lot of fun. We did like a, it was all inclusive? It was all inclusive. It yeah. was like a honeymoon hotel thing or whatever. I think everyone there was. Yeah. It was really fun. We just relaxed. How long were we there for like a week or a week. something? Yeah. yeah. And we just, yeah, it was kind of nice. We did go off the like resort area or whatever just to go shopping and we ate at different places and stuff even though our hotel was all inclusive, but it was just really nice, chill. Jason did some, what'd you do? You did parasailing? I, parasail, I did the- Did you do the jet skis? Um, jet skis, I don't know, laid at the pool. Yeah, we just really, honestly, we just <coughs> chilled out and hung out, because nice. yeah, the wedding hubbub was, it's all so crazy. We just <laughs> went and just relaxed for, I wish we could do that now. I know. Take a vacation. Seriously. Man. The middle year says, Jason, do you help with actual homeschooling classes? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm, at work, I'm the, yeah. Or, like we already talked about, like if they're screwing around and they don't get their work done, then they, I come home and I quote help, but really it's just kind of. Help? <laughs> you know. No, he does help, actually, I will say this. When we're choosing curriculum and trying to figure out what we're going to do each year, he does help with that. Yeah. We kind of like agree on, hey, yeah, let's try this, or hey, this wasn't working, let's do this. So he helps like that. Um, but we're into a pretty good groove now. Jason goes to work, we do school, and we've just been doing school for so long now that that's just like what we do. So the kids don't give me a whole lot of pushback anymore. I mean, we just go downstairs, we do school, and we're done, and then we go about our business. So yeah, yeah there's not... Um, well, unless, I help with homework sometimes. Yeah, no. you do if um, there's something somebody can't understand, and I've tried all the ways I know to explain it. Um, the other thing where he gets to kind of be involved is if we are going and doing fun things, like when we did Expedition Earth, mm -hmm. we went out and tried different foods, and, and we did that as a whole family. So he's kind of involved when he can be, but honestly, he's gone mostly during the day when we're mm -hmm. doing school, so it's just kind of how it works out. Yeah. Um, you did do school a couple times, though, for me. <laughs> yeah, when you were sick or yeah. did you have something you were or gone. if I you know went and got my hair done or something, Jason had done school. Yeah, so now I don't help too often. Yeah. I support. He supports. 
Uh, Brittany, Starla, do y'all drink David's tea um, or just tea in general every night or is it just an advent tradition? Well, the David's tea is just an advent yes. tradition. Yeah, Jason has so. tea every night usually <laughs> um, and it's usually the Downton Abbey tea or what's that other one you've been drinking? It's uh, Republic, of, Republic tea. of Tea. It's like a chai, chai or something. So yeah, it's pretty good. They have really good tea. If you haven't tried Republic of Tea mm -hmm. teas, you should try them. They are delicious. Um, yeah. So he does every night. I don't usually, I just, I'm kind of like a water drinker so I've been drinking my teamy tea. Oh, I forgot to show you. We'll talk about that tonight. Um, I've been drinking my teamy tea in the morning and then I drink water the whole rest of the day. So, um, and the David's tea is pretty much just during Advent unless we find a tea we really like then we would order it. Okay, so I don't know who had asked for it, but this came in the mail for you today. So happy oh, nice. early Christmas. So if you guys have been watching my Instagram or just looking, you know, watching, I put it in some of the vlogs as well. I've been doing the Teamy 30 day detox and I'm really, really liking it. We liked it so much we got one for Jason. So he got the black nice. one. So that's what the um, tumbler looks like. And they're really cool. The top comes <laughs> off. And then inside they've got this little filter that pops out and so you can put your tea right in here, put the water in there, pop the filter on, and then when you drink it, you're drinking through the filter so you're not getting all the icky bits in your mouth. Um, the bottom also unscrews so you can bring extra tea with you if you're like on the go and you wanna make more. Uh, they, the bag also says you can just pour more hot water in the tea that's already in there if you wanna do two cups out of one kind of serving. So I really like it and it also comes with this schedule. I have a discount code, I'll put it in the description box below for you guys. Um, it's just Erica A25. And so you can just mark off and it tells you what to do each day. And you do the teamy skinny every morning and then you do the teamy colon every other day. And I've had some questions on this. It's pretty um, mild, I would say. I did skip a few days though this, uh, as I've been doing it, I only have a couple days left, I think, um, because I knew we had a really busy day the next day and I didn't want to be like, I don't know. I was stuck at home, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should say. Um, but it's pretty mild. It wasn't anything too too crazy. I was a little scared to do this the first night. I will admit that and it was easy. I'm excited. And I actually really like the flavor of the tea. It says you can put honey or something else in it if you want and I never put anything else in it because I thought it tasted good on its own. Anyways, I am pretty sensitive to caffeine. I don't drink a whole lot of caffeine and honestly I didn't feel like I was hopped up on caffeine on it at all. Um, I actually really enjoyed it and I felt a little more like alert I guess because there is a little bit of caffeine in there. It's like plant-based caffeine. Um, but it wasn't anything major like I didn't feel like I was just like jittery and, and crazy so and no trouble sleeping at night or anything so yeah I love it so you get to cool. try that. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah super cool so <clears throat> anyways I'll put a link for that below for you guys. I know a few of you have asked me about it and we just haven't done it during question time so okay we'll do one more question. Um, Pack Quilter 22 said how often does Jason have to get rid of snakes in your yard? <laughs> Yeah, this year it seemed like quite often. I think we yeah, had like three, but three big ones. Yeah. It's, uh, and you probably saw them all on vlogs because we had a couple of good sized bull snakes. We had a, that big that rattler that was on the last vlog. If you haven't seen that one, just look back a few vlogs. It was it's on the picture, and I think it's called rattlesnakes or something. But that that was a yeah. good sized snake. I think we had three this year. I mean, enough that I made a snake stick. So. Yeah. Homemade DIY snake stick, <clears throat> and um, we use it, and it works really well actually. And I'm sure there's tons that go through our yard we don't even right even know. But like last year, I don't think I had any, or maybe one. We had that one baby rattler, remember? Because I think that might have even been our first one, because we lived here for several years, and I was like, oh man, we haven't seen a rattler yet. And yeah, at our old house, we had a lot of them too. We did, and unfortunately, those all appeared when Jason was like at work, <laughs> and so I had to take care of all those. But you know, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, so. <laughs> to protect our babies. <laughs> the very first one we had was right after we moved in and we were um, hoeing a bunch of weeds out of the back of our yard and Sam was only like about one and a half and he was standing right next to me and I pulled out a weed and a baby rattler just came right out of the weed and I was... <laughs> I mean, I didn't, it just happened so fast. Happened she just so goes, fast. <laughs> drugs it out and I was just like, what just happened? So it didn't even have a chance, but it was right next to Sam. I mean, you get, like I said, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do when it comes to her babies. So that dude wasn't getting anywhere near my baby. I don't want to say I condone killing like, you know, wildlife like that, but when you've got a rattler and it's in your yard and you've got a baby like a foot away, I'm just saying. Anyway, this one, we've managed to keep them all alive. I don't think we've killed any snakes here. No. Yeah. So we're doing good. We're doing we've good. been relocating, saving the snakes, saving the snakes. All right, guys, thanks for joining us tonight. We're going to cut this one short. Jason and I are going to go hang out and just relax this evening. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Bye. Bye.
What is that? Like that. <laughs> it's like the lion from Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Feet Rue. Are you sure we haven't had I don't know. Song? One, two, three, four, five, six times. One, two, three, four. There's 20 different T's. So they must have done two. Of, I don't know. Six times four is 24. 24 different T's. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. I've been shopping all day. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, why do I have a stinky little cup? I don't know what you're talking about. We have the same cup. I bought them today. Aren't they cute? No. This looks like a, like a kid's cup. Like a little doll tea set. I don't see the difference. I go watch golf in the basement and watch golf that's code for i'm gonna go take a nap yeah although Actually, everybody watching golf is taking <laughs> no, a nap. That's